Hello students of class 11, so I'm one of your chemistry teachers and I'll be taking some of your units from your chemistry subject. Um, so I bet you have already seen the unit distributions, so I'll be taking the first unit, the basic concept of chemistry. So just a official introduction here, here's my full name but you can just call me Serpeza and um, just a note here due to this lockdown, we'll be doing only the important ones. So, um, in this video, let's take a look at the SI unit from your basic concept of chemistry, the unit one. Um, I've skipped some portion just to let you know because all those things are not that important. So let's start off with the SI unit here. Alright, so the SI unit or the standard international system of unit is the use of a single standard unit in communicating scientific data without any vocabulary confusions. I'll get you to explain this in a minute, but let's get straight to the point here. So, we have physical quantities like the land, mass, time, temperature, volume, energy in our daily basis. And we measure these physical quantities in many forms of units. Like, take for example, the land, we can measure in terms of millimeter or centimeter or the units in meter or kilometer. Take for example, temperature, we can measure in terms of Kelvin, Fahrenheit or degree Celsius volume milliliters liter or meter cube and all these sorts of um, units is what we can uh, measure these physical quantities and so in uh, one of them is taken out of all these units that represents the physical quantities here one of them is taken as the standard one to define uh, the particular physical quantities here and those standard one are called as the SI unit Alright, so in 1960, the scientific community held a general conference in France and all of the scientists came into agreement selecting uh, one out of these units as the standard one to define the physical quantity. So in the case of the land, uh, they selected the meter as the standard one. In the mass, they selected kg as the standard one. And in the case of time, they selected uh, second temperature kelvin, volume meter cube, energy joules, and the list goes on for the other physical quantities. So now that they have selected the standard units for the physical quantities here, um, though we can still use the other units on our daily basis, the scientific communities, they are mostly going to use the SI unit for exchanging information from one country to another or from one laboratory to another laboratory. Take for example, let's say we have a laboratory in Korea and a laboratory in India and the scientists here are exchanging scientific data uh, among the uh, community here. Alright, so let's say the Korea uh, is going to send the scientific data of the speed of light. Let's say they're going to send the information of the speed of light um, to the Indian uh, scientists here. So let's say the speed of light is about um, 299,792,458 meter per second. Alright, so when they send this particular data, you see here, they are going to send in terms of meter per second, which is the SI unit uh, of the velocity or speed. So they are going to send this particular data in the terms of SI unit to the Indian scientists here. Just know that they are not going to send the speed of light in terms of kilometer per hour or any other units, all right, which is not the SI unit. So, so this is uh, important, crucial for the scientific community so that um, there is no any uh, vocabulary confusion within the, uh, within the scientists here. All right, now that you have learned what is the SI unit, Let's take a look into more of this SI unit by looking at some measuring system used across different countries. All right, so we have the metric system is where uh, most of the countries use, including India. So it's where we use meter uh, or kilogram or second or gram or liter. Um, so when you go to the market to buy uh, potato, we ask potato in terms of kg or in terms of grams. We also have the US customary units or the imperial units which these units are very much alike and uh, these are the units where uh, instead of using uh, meter they will use yard units or instead of using kilometer they will use miles or take for example instead of using kilogram they will use pound or ounce 
are instead of using um, degrees Celsius for measuring the temperature, uh, they will use Fahrenheit, things like that. So um, these are the system used across different countries. Let me just quickly show you the picture of where uh, these measuring systems are used across different countries. So as you can see here, um, most of the countries use the metric system, including India, and only some few of the countries use the US customary units. Those are the United States, we can see the Liberia, and the Myanmar. Alright, let's get back to the SI unit here. So, SI unit comes under the metric system, and just a little bit of the history of the metric system you want to know is that it started after the French Revolution, where the revolutionary leader overthrew this old traditional measuring system. Alright, so the science community have divided the metric system into the MKS, CGS, or MTS type system, alright, so the MKS here, it means the meter, kilogram, or second, CGS means the centimeter, gram, or second, these units, and we have the meter, ton, seconds, uh, units here, so the SI unit we are talking about is the MKS system, so you might come across different uh, this kind of words in your science textbook and just to let you not get confused the MKS unit system is the SI unit system all right so take a very quick look on the metric system and the US customary units here so as you can see the American people they use inch instead of millimeters or yard instead of meter or miles while the rest of the world use kilometer instead if you look at the mass here how they measure mass they use ounce or pounds instead of grams or kilograms here. It's just that they don't use grams or kilograms. It's just that they use ounce or pounds more intuitively. All right, so if you look at the volume here, it's how they measure liquids. So you can see one tablespoon, one teaspoon to measure the uh, volume or the liquid here. All right, uh, do you get the idea here? It's just that I want you to show that the SI unit we are talking about comes under the metric system, uh, specifically under the MKS uh, system here, not from this US customary units or the imperial units, it comes under the metric system here. So I hope you understand something from here and uh, if you have any doubts, uh, please let me know, comment down in below and I'll get to see that.